Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini. He helps me in the craft room. At least he keeps me company this afternoon. He was sitting in the middle of whatever I was doing for the most part for most of the afternoon. And what I have for you today is we have uh, the August Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. And uh, such a beautiful kit. I made five cards and um, let's just get started. Here is the August Paper Pumpkin. Boy, is it a beautiful kit. Uh, it's called Sweet Sunflowers, August 2022. And um, let me show you a little bit about what's inside this kit. Here is the stamp set. It's got this beautiful sunflower and a center. It's got a leaf, an outline leaf. Um, it's got a little spray of, oh, leaves and uh, berries. It's got a couple of bumblebees, one that's uh, as though you're looking down him and one as though you're looking at him from the side. And it says, uh, I've got a couple of, uh, of, of uh, sentiment stamps. Thank you. This one says, wishing you so much happiness. And then uh, it says, for a one of a kind friend and hello, and then the thank you. And um, it's, it's a very nice little stamp set. You got two ink spots this time, soft suede and crushed curry. The material in the kit this time is absolutely stunning. This is the envelope, oh my gosh. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, and it took a little while for me to just get past working through with the paper on the envelope. Um, and then there is this, which is vellum like honeycomb uh, pieces. And there's six of them, I think. I ended up just using one in the material that I used. Let's see, this is, these are more of the envelopes. Let me get out some of the card fronts. This is one of the card fronts. Isn't it just gorgeous? Um, and so it's got these flowers on this side and this color wash on the other. Of course, you know me. I cut this in half and use this for the front of one card and this for the front of a second card. Then there was one that is just green. And it has uh, this pretty green color wash on both sides. Again, I cut mine down the middle and used it to make two cards. And then there is the one with the sunflowers. Here's half of it. I may have cut my No, there's one still together. There we go. There is the third base. And this is the front of the card. And this is the back of the card. And once again, I cut this in half and then made a card using uh, both sides of this um, and then used this one as background material. I made one using just the envelope paper. Let's see, what else comes with this? There's the instructions for you to make um, nine cards and it's three, oops, three with the sunflowers uh, that you stamp and then three with this background, and that's just gorgeous. I'll pull that out. And this this uh, sticker set or cutaway set that has um, these large sunflower looking things and these little uh, bumblebees. I think that's what they are. I looked at them for a long time. That's all I can figure out that they are. Um, and then there's three cutouts that are a floral piece. This is a panel that you get. Um, and I think their idea was to put this on here and make a card like that, which is just stunning just the way it is. Then you got a whole package of these, and this was just honeycomb in gold. And I honestly did not see how they were using that on these cards. I don't know. Anyway, I used them. I cut them apart and 
and use them a little bit differently. Let's see what else was in here. Uh, you've got stickers, or I mean labels, all different kinds of labels. you got uh, glue dots, and I ended up using two of these labels, one the way they intended and one not, not the way they intended. And um, there's just an awful lot of material, as you can see. And I made five cards, and I could have kept going, um, but I wanted to get this video up. So let me show you what I did with mine. This is the my card number one. What I did was um, I used the back side of one of these card fronts. I used one of those gold sheets that they gave us. And what I did was I cut off the edging all the way around. And I just used one of the sheets for all of these cards. I cut out a little section. And then on the back side of this card here, I cut this little piece out here. I cut a section. Let's see. What did I do here? Let me just get some measurements for you. This one is two and a quarter inches by three and three quarters inches. And then, so I cut my little piece in the center here, and then I threaded uh, some of this paper an eighth of an inch through uh, some of the honeycombs. And I did one that was um, more towards the top and one that was a little bit more towards the bottom. And then I used this, which was a laser cut and put that piece on here. I used one of the vellum honeycombs and I just used an, a splatter stamp that I happen to have. Now on these um, embellishments, what I did was I used the um, elegant faceted gems and I used the clears and one of the colors that is um, coordinates this time is melon mambo. So I used my melon mambo um, blend and I colored those gems so that they would match perfectly. And the inside of this one I used just a strip of mossy meadow and then from the envelope there's this piece on the envelope right down here in the corner that has this same floral thing. So and you can use either either corner this one or this one and I just punched that out with a little circle punch I had. I think it was a maybe a one and a half inch yeah one and a half inch circle um, punch that I had or a die it, anything like that just so you can get it cut out and then a strip of the mossy meadow and I, I really love the way this one came out and I did the darker stamp in the dark mossy meadow uh, and just did that splatter stamp just to add a little bit of texture. All right, the next one that I made was um, this one. And this was using that piece that they gave you. Well, there's nothing much you can do to improve on it. It's just gorgeous. And it has these beautiful flowers here. So I used another little piece of this gold honeycomb and uh, I stamped for a one-of-a-kind friend in Mossy Meadow and then uh, used a die or a punch, I can't remember which, to cut that out and put it on the front. And I just used a strip of this green paper here. Um, I think I did all of this without cutting into a second, I think that's right, in, without cutting into a second card. So use the front and the back of the one um, card front like this, um, cut this one down to four by five and a quarter, and then cut this band off of this one to go across there. I think it's a couple inches wide. And then on the inside, I did mossy meadow and white and then used the stamp that was in there to color the, to add the leaves that match the leaves on the front. So that is my card number two. This one is just a little bit different <laughs> and what I did was I used the card front that had the sunflowers and I just cut out around the sunflowers 
and got part of this stem that's here and that's a little tricky because this is where the fold is and so I just went on the back side the mountain side I'll show you a trick that you can do when you have one of these fold lines in the middle of what you're trying to use you can just take your bone folder and go over it and sort of flatten it out and with this one there's enough of a pattern you don't even see where the fold was but that's a trick in getting um, a score mark kind of out of the middle of what you're doing and so you can make it be just quite a bit flatter and it's not perfect but like I said if it's got a pattern like this you won't see the fold then not as prominent and then I stamped the sunflower over here in the soft suede that came with the kit and then used my blends in uh, the, I don't think we have a crushed curry blend, so I used, I think, a dark so saffron and then some pumpkin pie and some brown. And then so that they matched a little bit, because this one doesn't have any brown in the flower, uh, so I added the brown and more of the orange in here so it would match this one and did that again on another one of those that was the back side of this card to use as my card front and then on the inside on this one I did a, a stamp actually what I did was the cutout the laser cut little yellow uh, piece that they gave you this and I stamped over the top of it so that it would look just like the flower that I stamped in the front and then added a little bit of these uh, purple flowers there were some in the print I added a couple here and added a couple here just to finish it so that is my card number three card number four is this one and I just love it what I did was I used the back side of one of these so I must have cut into a second one so I used the back side of one of these and this is the envelope so I cut out uh, from the front part of the envelope this part here if you cut just the edge of this edge off and the edge of this off and cut this at the bottom you can make a piece that's at least eight and, or four by five and a quarter. You can see how much bigger that is. So I trimmed that down to fit on the front of this card. I laid the honeycomb across this way and then uh, I fussy cut out this part of the leaf from the top and some of these flowers to add here to the top. So it's got a raised dimension. I put one of those little bees on there and then typed wishing or stamped wishing you so much happiness and on the inside of that one the back side of this um, envelope had this paper that matched the front so what I did was I just cut this piece here and here and then I fussy cut out the other part of an envelope where I cut uh, this part out I cut this part out on the other side and put that on the inside with the little piece of the honeycomb and then you have this pretty little arched edge on one side because of the way the envelope is shaped and I thought it made it look kind of interesting so that is my inside on this one my card number four the final one is this one and it might be my favorite this is the front side of that card base that has this material printed on it. Then I took one of the cutouts, uh, the laser cuts, and put some dimensionals behind it. And this, uh, this ribbon or this um, twine, heavy twine, is I, the last time I looked it was still in the um, clearance rack. And so I had picked up a little bit of it. Um, and then I used one of the labels they, they supplied, put thank you. I used gold um, champagne rhinestones on this. I stamped a couple of those bumblebees here. And on the inside, I just put a piece of white and stamped some bumblebees. So that is my card number five. Anyway, I just had more fun with this. It's such a beautiful kit. Um, this one can be repeated a bunch of times because you have nine envelopes. So 
if you can't get nine cards out of this, there's something wrong. <laughs> and then, and then uh, three each of this design, this design, and cutting those apart and making a card out of each side allows you to make quite a few cards out of this kit, and they are just beautiful. So uh, that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. I'm getting back to my normal routine of two videos a week. This should go up on Friday. I think it's September 2nd. Celebration is finally done. I hope you got everything free that you wanted to. My prize draw, in fact, I'll be picking my prize draw here in a couple of days. And um, uh, it'll be a $60 shopping spree on me if you placed an order on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net. Uh, and you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking, where are the more detailed instructions on the 6x6 Christmas um, One Sheet Wonder that I did? And I should have that up, hopefully, tomorrow. Um, it's a lot of pictures and a lot of drawing to get that <laughs> get that up, um, and I'm just catching up. So uh, I will now that I've got my August paper pumpkin done. Um, I'll be working on that tomorrow and get some other things up. The other one that I did was the uh, folded tea caddy, and uh, that one should be up over the weekend as well. So. Um, Let's see, in September, Stamping Up is offering a weekly deal, uh, and I'll have it posted on my blog, I think, tomorrow, what the deal is this week, and it's four different deals for each week in September, as I understand it. And so that will be up. I think that's it for me. I will be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye.